I went to Catholic school for 12 years. It was a very, very closed Catholic world. I didn't know anybody who wasn't Catholic. And then I got to high school and we were all secretly reading. I remember we hid Camus in the waistband of our tights so we could read him secretly. Then came to Barnard, which was an immense cultural shock. The world was exploding. The sexual revolution was happening. The Vietnam protests were happening. Six months before that, I was crowning the statue of the Virgin Mary. I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. What was exciting about feminism from a literary perspective is you suddenly had permission to write about women not from the point of view of men, not just as the lovers or mothers of men, which meant that you had a different age range, you had a different activity range, and that has always been extremely important to me. Feminism is simply a habit of mind that says the lives of women are as important as the lives of men, period. Not more important, but as important. That is an extremely radical position which most of the world does not cleave to. I think one of the things that literature does that's terribly important is to always remind us that things are much more complicated than we think that they are. It's the opposite of particularly the kind of dogmatism in a Catholic hierarchy. Literature says it's all pretty big, it's all pretty contradictory, it's all pretty complicated, and this is our lot.